Hello everyone. In the previous sessions, we learned about the read cell and write cell. Now, in this session, we are going to learn three different concepts. That is one variable type that is data table. Along with that, that we are going to learn read range and write range. Now, I will start with the scenarios. Okay, if you see on my screen that I'm having the student details along with the student name, class, and marks in the respective subjects, and you can see the total and the percentage of the particular student. Correct? Now, I'm going to start with the scenario. So, for and suppose if the customer looking for only the data for the students along with that marks, the customer is not looking for the total or the percentage. How can I read the data, only this particular data? And then how I will write this data into the another Excel? This is my scenario. Okay. First of all, I will explain about the data table variable. Because of I'm going to explain, uh, I'm going to use data table first in this read range and write range. I'm going to use this data table. First of all, we'll see the definition. Data table variable represents a type of variable that can store big pieces of information and acts as a database or a simple spreadsheet with rows and columns. Now, if you observe this definition, what will happen? I want, I can, if I want to store any kind of information, which data type or variable type that I can use, data table is the variable that I'm going to use it. And also it will work as a, it acts as a database or a simple spreadsheet with the rows and columns, right? Now for this data table variable, if I want to use it, the namespace that we are going to use it in the .NET or you know, any other that is the namespace system.data.data table. If you see the example, the customer or the client is looking for the student name, class, and single subject Hindi only. And he don't want to go for the further information like different subjects and the total and the percentage as I have shown you on the screen. So the customer don't require all these details or else he just required student name and the class. That's it. He don't want to take any other information. He don't want the remaining information in the another spreadsheet or he want to paste it in the another spreadsheet. How can I go ahead and do that? Now I hope you understand where we are going to use data type. If I want to store the data, store big pieces of information, I want to store the information where I can store by using variable type data table so that it will acts as a database or else a simple spreadsheet with the rows and columns. Okay. Let me switch to UA Path Studio. Now what we are going to do, we are going to work with data table along with the activities. I'm just going to use read range and write range activities. How we are going to work with these two activities along with the data table or by using data table in this session. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to add a sequence, add and sequence. What is the name that I will, we will give actually? So whatever the uh, you know activity that I'm going to use it, the same thing that I'm going to use, it, read range and write range. I'm going to give the sequence name like that because of I'm going to work with these two activities along with the data table. Okay, let me go ahead, let me create it. Now the sequence has been created successfully. Now what we are going to do, so by default, what are the, to open a work, book or you know excel sheets that we are going to use excel application scope let me drag and drop now let me select by you no know, the student marks which you have, i have shown you let me select by using browse file and i'm going to take the student marks okay now i want to read the data it's a range right so range is nothing but let me go back to my excel i want to read this data if you see from A1 to, this is the range. Or I want to read the entire Excel. I will explain you one by one scenario. Okay, now what I have to do, I want to read the entire data by using read range. Or else, if you see from the cell A1 to, end of the cell, what is the thing that we have J18. I want to read this entire data between these ranges, right? Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to drag and drop this read range. 
read range purpose is to read the data from the specific cell to the specific cell that i'm going to define the ranges over there right so now let me go ahead to the application app integration so where excel under excel you will find read range now let me drag and drop read range activity on my do activity now first of all we'll see the properties properties of the read range what is the common property that we have display name i'm not going to change anything it's a read range that i'm giving it if you see the range you can see in double quotes what is the mean of this one so i want to read the entire entire sheet whatever the data we have i'm not specifying any range from a1 to b2 or something that i'm not going to be mentioning i'm just given as double quotes that the mean entire values what are the values that we have in the entire sheet one that i'm going to read it from starting to end that is the purpose of this double quotes if i'm not giving anything if you're going to give some values then it will read only the, the particular values okay now the another property input property that we have sheet name that i'm having sheet one now if you see adding headers yes or no that you can see i have added in my excel that have added headers right so that i am going to take the options and preserve format or whatever it may be the format is required if you want to use any filters you can go ahead and you can use the filters and if you see what out the output that we got it from this input it is these are two other inputs so that it, you will get an output right the output you can see in the data table if you see over here output data table object in which read data is stored what are the data you have read in the excel by using excel application scope and read range activity the data will be stored in the data table format now let me go ahead let me create a variable by clicking on control k and now what i'm going to do i'm just giving var data table okay i'm just giving and then i'm going to click on enter now let me go to the variables over here now if you see the variable name we have created as var data table op output and then the data type you can see over here this is the data table which we have mentioned in the same session right to store the data the big piece of code or big piece of information not the code big piece of information if i want to store it i will store it in the data table or else if i want to go for the worksheet with rows and columns then a, a simple kind of it will be represented as a simple worksheet with the rows and columns right now if you see that you know in the scope of do that i'm going to do it sheet name i have mentioned it as sheet one and the entire data you know if i'm going to give double quotes simply double quotes then the entire data in the excel it has been read now how can we say that one uh, you know it is only reading file that we can't show it as an output like you know what kind of data it is read in the uh, in the data table what kind of data we are having in the data table all right now this is about the read range only okay if i read how to read the data entire data then i can go ahead by using read range that i can read on which date uh, you know from which cell to which cell that i'm going to read it okay but somewhere i have to show the output right so if i want to write somewhere then only i can see you know the data has been read by the read range and the output having the output var data table op having the data type with the data table stored some values and then it has read somewhere it has written something into the particular thing right now this is about the read range i can't show you any kind of output over here for the current being or else we can see you know the looping condition that we can use it and then we can display it but what i'm going to do i'm going to add write range over here okay along with that if you see over here i'm having write range right let me drag and drop write range into my do activity so what i'm going to do what out the data that have read it that i'm going to write into the another sheet or another sheet which i am going to mention i am going to write from the range of particular thing i am going to do by using write range first of all we'll see the properties of the write range you can see display name this is a common property another one destination destination is nothing but so where i have to write the data so i am going to by using read range i have used sheet 1 right to write the data i will use sheet 2 
let me show you that my Excel sheet once again. You can see I'm having sheet two, but I don't have any data. Okay. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to take sheet two and I'm going to start from the starting cell. Another property you can see, I'm going to start from A1. Okay. And if you see over here, it is expecting the input, input of data table from which data table I want to write the data from A1, from starting cell of A1 and the sheet name sheet 2 so we have already taken we have already stored the data from the read range de, read range activity we have saved some data that is in the variable of where data table i will take the same thing where data table op as an input for the right range okay and you can see options add headers yes i'm going to give it the option to add as an headers okay now let me go ahead let me save it now what I'm going to do, so I'm going to add the messages over here, message box to display read has been completed and write has been completed. For the first message box that I'm giving it, reading completed. Reading completed, okay. And uh, I will take one more message box over here to make it as writing has been completed, okay. So I'm saying writing completed now let me go ahead let me save it and i will explain you once again this entire process what i'm going to do i'm opening an excel to uh, i'm going to open an excel student marks to read the data from the sheet one okay that is by using my sheet one over here by using my bot and after that i'm going to read the entire data by using double quotes over here if you see, I have given double quotes over here, nothing but entire data from the sheet one that I'm going to read it. After reading by using read range activity, I'm going to store in the variable with the data type variable type data table, which it is going to store big piece of information. And then once it has been completed, I'm going to use the message box reading completed. And the next, I'm going to write the range by using write range activity I'm going to write the entire data which I have read it in the sheet in the read range. I'm going to write the data in the sheet two starting from A1 cell. And then for that its input is where data table OP. And then what I'm going to do, I'm going to display a message saying that writing completed. This is all about three different uh, activities that we have used. One is variable data table another one read range and write range activities let me save it let me execute the bot to check the output let me go ahead let me run it now if you see reading completed okay let me go ahead let me click on okay now if you see the entire data writing also completed so let me show you that output by going to the project now let me go to the student marks now if you see in the sheet one that i had this entire data right now what i'm going to do i found i have by using right range activity i have written the entire data into this one right now what i'm going to do i'm going to use the same thing but i'm going to change the data okay now what i'm going to do i'm going to start from the i'm changing the values of read range i'm going to say from a1 to up to where that have to go i will say is b 10 okay let me open i will show you how i am going to do now if you see what i'm going to do i'm going to start with the a1 and then you know i'm just going to read up to h18 so this is only the data which i required and i don't want or else i will take still over here a12 that h15 i will take h15 this is the range that what I want to read it. Let me go ahead. I will give H15 over here. Okay. So H15. And then I'm going to delete this entire data in the sheet two, or else I will add one more sheet over here. I'm saying in the right range that I will give sheet three. Let me go ahead. Let me save. What I'm going to do by using read range, I'm starting from A1 to H15. And then I'm going to start the data, writing the data from the starting from A1 cell in the sheet three. Okay. Now let me go ahead. Let me execute the bot. I hope uh, reading completed. 
now writing also completed now let me go ahead let me open the sheet now you can see there's the sheet 3 in the excel now you can see you don't have total and percentages along with that you don't have the rows remaining rows 16 17 18 can you see again there's the 16 17 18 rows are not available in this sheet 3 okay this is how you're going to write the data and read the data by using read range activity as well as write range activity along with data table variable type i hope you understand how to use data table read range activity write range activity in this session thank you for watching this tutorial if you have any queries related to this concept please post them in the comment section i will see you in the next session till then bye bye have a nice day